present to you the Mesocyclone. Often momentous and majestic. The Mesocyclone is part of a structure of the supercell, often found in the southwest portion of the storm. It is responsible for ingesting an updraft of warm, moist air, fueling these massive cumulonimbus towers. Often rotating, they take on a mothership type appearance with styrations and layering contrast in different colors. It is one of the most coveted photos a storm chaser can find. For others, they may simply be a consolation prize for that missed tornado. They are an epic sight. It's uncertain if they are solely responsible for tornado genesis. But it is from these large bases that you start to have the formation of a wall cloud, funnel cloud, and perhaps very soon after a fully condensed tornado connecting the sky and the earth. These mesocyclones can be in diameter anywhere from a mile to six miles roughly the size of the city of Des Moines. rapid motion of rising air condensing, creating these wall clouds and funnel clouds. And if you came here expecting to see a tornado, I'm afraid this is not the video for you. In all fairness to these storms, I wasn't recording them for the mesocyclone. I was fully expecting a tornado to occur. This is a position you don't really want to find yourself in approaching as a cyclone, wall cloud, ready to produce a tornado really any moment. But what I did recognize is this storm lacked any rapid rotation and did not take on a smooth or 
laminar appearance. I've presented these videos sped up either five times their normal speed or ten times just to really illustrate the fluid dynamics of these clouds. It's a sense that you feel in real life but it feels often lost playing in real time video. And as the previous clip was recorded inside the pickup, I was outside looking just to the left, seeing a very similar sight, almost two updrafts in one. This storm in southeast Nebraska near Humboldt was unique in that it was only progressing at 10 miles per hour, a lot slower than what we would typically see for storms. And so I was able to capture a quite long, continuous recording of this storm as it approached directly overhead. I almost became a pile of ash. It's time now that we get moving. It's coming overhead and it's not again a position you ideally want to be in. Retreating further south a bit for a wider view. I watched this nearly condensed funnel. evolve into what I thought was going to be a tornado, but I was instead presented with baseball-sized hail. I was likely to avoid any damage as I waited.
watch the RFD rain curtain pass. And was presented with a site that was so close to being a photograph of a lifetime. But alas, it was not to be, and for good reason. We should never wish for a tornado or storms to damage people's livelihood. The same storm would continue to evolve, producing new updrafts as it very slowly crossed the Missouri River, where I watched this, for a moment, promising wall cloud eventually ascend as the inflow was cut off and the last fuel was injected into the storm. before eventually dying off and floating away. As always, thank you for watching and chase on my friends.